Um, appendix cancer is actually my my greatest passion. I think that's um, a, a big majority of my my patient population that I see. And I think um, appendiceal cancers are very uncommon, but they're actually becoming more common for some reason. The incidence is rising. And I think it's really important for people to, to know that this is a recognized malignancy. Um, I would say the majority of appendiceal tumors are mucinous tumors. And these mucinous tumors um, kind of come on this range of aggressiveness scale. So they range from low-grade mucinous neoplasms, which are technically non-invasive, meaning they don't get into the lymph node basin. And so they don't metastasize systemically all the way to poorly differentiated adenocarcinoma, which are highly invasive tumors, very aggressive pathology, um, tend to metastasize not only local regionally in the peritoneum, but can also spread through the lymph node basin to the liver and the lungs. And then in between are well-differentiated adenocarcinomas and moderately differentiated adenocarcinomas. So what we know um, for lamins, which are low-grade mucinous neoplasms that are confined to the appendix, so they haven't perforated, an appendectomy is really all you need with a negative margin. If you have a lamin or a low-grade mucinous neoplasm with concurrent peritoneal disease or mucinous disease, then the treatment of choice is surgical, and we offer cytoreductive surgery and HIPEC for those patients up front because systemic chemotherapy really doesn't benefit them um, because they don't spread through the lymph node basin. And that same philosophy goes for well-differentiated adenocarcinomas of the appendix. These are very indolent adenocarcinomas, and although they do have a potential to spread systemically, they rarely do. So for those tumors, we also tend to be aggressive surgically up front and offer cytoreductive surgery and HIPEC if if it presents with peritoneal disease. If they are confined to the appendix, if it's a well-differentiated adenocarcinoma of the appendix and it's not has not perforated, then the treatment of choice is typically a right hemicolectomy. However, that is also hotly debated because some would just say an appendectomy is all you need for those tumors because again, they rarely go into the lymph node basin. When you start getting into the moderately differentiated and the poorly differentiated adenocarcinomas, that's when the role of chemotherapy comes in. So for moderately differentiated or poorly differentiated adenocarcinomas of the appendix that are confined to the appendix, treatment of choice is right hemicolectomy to assess the lymph node basin. And based on lymph node involvement, you give them chemotherapy or not. Then if they present with peritoneal disease, for patients with moderately differentiated and poorly differentiated tumors, they tend to respond um, somewhat better to systemic chemotherapy because the cells are dividing more rapidly and they are more atypical. So it really depends on what center you go to. Um, some um, HIPEC centers will offer surgery up front, even for moderately differentiated and, and poorly differentiated. Uh, we tend to be a little bit more heavy on the systemic chemotherapy up front for those types of tumors. So what the way we practice here is we give se um, three months of chemotherapy for moderately differentiated tumors up front um, and six months four to six months of systemic chemotherapy for poorly differentiated tumors up front. And if they have a good response without progression of disease, then we offer them cytoreductive surgery and HIPEC after that. So the management really differs from center to center in regards to the, the moderately differentiated and poorly differentiated tumors. But overall, I think appendix cancers are not widely known. It is considered a very rare condition and a lot of even general surgeons in the community might not be familiar with them. So I think it's a, a important topic to be able to, to, dis, to discuss so that patients get the appropriate management.